Question 6, 18, 10, 14, 8, 26, 17, 10, missing number 18. So the three numbers in each group are related in the same way and we need to find the number that completes the last group. So I started by looking at the first group where I have 18 and I have 14 and then in the middle I have 10. I thought to begin with it might be about subtraction. 18 is the largest number so I thought that maybe I would need to subtract 10 or maybe I would need to subtract 14. But then when I looked at the middle group, I realised that actually in the middle group, the first number, the 8, is the smallest number. So if I did any subtracting in the second group, starting with the first number, I would actually be getting negative numbers. So I decided that subtracting most likely would not be what I needed to do. So then I decided to look at addition. So to begin with, I thought, well, maybe I need to add the smallest numbers together, the 10 and the 14 in the first group, and that would give me 24. And then to get from 24 to the first number, 18, I would need to subtract 6. But then looking at the middle group, I've got the same problem, haven't I? Because 26, the middle number, is actually the largest number. So if I add 26 and 17, then I am going to get 43. And if I do 43, take away 6 then I get 37, which is not the middle number. So then I decided to try adding the first two numbers. So if I do 18 plus 10, then I get 28. And looking at the number 28, I realise that there is a relationship between 28 and the last number 14, because 14 times 2 is 28. So I can take the 28 and divide it by 2, and that will give me 14, the last number. So let's see if this works with the middle group. So we have 8 and we have 26. So I'm going to take the 8 and add the 26, which gives me 34. And then if I take the 34 and divide it by 2, I get 17, which is the last number. So this does work. So now looking at the last group, we have 10 and we have 18, but we don't have the middle number. So that just means we need to work in reverse, which is fine. In the first and the second groups, we ended with the last number. So that means we are going to start with the last number. So we're going to start with 18. And then in the first and second groups, we divided by two to get the last number. So because we're going in reverse, we're going to multiply by two. And 18 times two is 36. Then we're going to take the 36 and in the first and second groups, we were adding the first and second numbers together. So because we're going in reverse, we are going to subtract the first number to give us the middle number. And 36 take away 10 is 26. So our missing number is C26. And just to show you that this definitely works, we're now going to work it out in the same way we did the first and second group. Now we have the middle number. So what we did was we took the first number and added the middle number and 10 plus 26 is 36. Then we take the 36, we divide it by two and that gives us 18, which is the last number. So we're definitely correct. So do make sure you're comfortable about working in reverse. Do make sure that if you're not, that you practice and you go over it a few times until you are confident about it. It's about knowing and being confident that the fact that 18 times 2 equals 36 means you can take the 36 and you can divide by 2 to get the 18 or you can divide by 18 to get the 2. And it's about being confident that 10 plus 26 equals 36 and that then if you're working in reverse and starting with the 36, you can subtract 26 to get 10. You can also subtract 10 to get 26. So just to remind you of another approach you can use in some questions, looking at the first group, because 18 is the largest number, 
we might think that we might need to multiply the 10 or the 14. So you can start writing out the 10 times table and the 14 times table. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 14, 28, 42. And then you can look and see if there's a way to make 18 from these numbers. And you should be able to spot that you have 28 and you have 10. And if you take the 28 and you subtract 10, then you will get 18, the first number. So what you are doing is you are taking the last number, the 14, and multiplying it by 2. And then you are subtracting the middle number, the 10, to get 18. So this is just another way of doing what we had worked out. And it works. So you might like this approach, you might find it more straightforward, but just be aware it's not going to work in every question. Now all you need to do is mark your answer on the answer sheet with a horizontal line next to the number 26.